Okay, digital. We take a brand yes. and a message yes. and we connect it to a targeted user online. That's that the bottom like a, line. That sounds good, like a pitch. But that sounds really good. Hey, beautiful people and success mentor Dante J. Worth, and I'm back with another video right here on Audacious Believer TV! <laughs> now, if this is your first time tuning in, I need you to make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Mm hmm. Make sure that you like this video. Mm hmm. And make sure that you are commenting down below. Me and my team absolutely love to read your comments. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, tonight we're being joined by the fabulous, the one, the only. <laughs> Tell them who you are, darling. I'm Norma Holland, everybody. How you doing? How you doing? So we invited Norm Holland on tonight <laughs> <laughs> to talk about the power of a career pivot. Mm. Mm. Career pivot. Pivot, honey. Yeah, so before pivot. we talk about that, we're going to ask you the question we ask every single guest. What is your story? My story. Yes. Well, we all have a story, right? Yes, we do. Oh, my goodness, my story. Yes. Where does it begin? Mm. Well, it began at Rochester uh, General Hospital oh! some <laughs> years ago. Yes, yes, yes. And, uh, <laughs> no, my story is this. My story, my most, because we all have a story that, that changes over time. Yes, it does. Right? Just like our story pivot. this year. Every, it's all. <laughs> so most recently, I left a career in television after yes. 23 and a half years mm -hmm. um, to do a career pivot, basically to take what I was doing and say, yes, okay, right? <laughs> new direction. <laughs> new direction. Just, here I am, now here I am, yes, right? Yes, yes, and yes, yes. And people, because you know, people talk about career change, career mm -hmm. shift. My story is one that, um, is basically I chose a different path. Mm. I chose a different, uh, I chose a different, I turned the page. That's good, that's, that's good. Did. Some people don't know how to do that. I they turned keep the on page. the same page, yeah, year after you know, year, I walking mean, in every room. Why is he still sitting here? Oh, that's, that's another page. Oh, never mind. Hey, 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 hey. I'm all a show. But like, yeah, you know, I had the yes. page, I was on it, and then I decided, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna yes, turn the page yes, and see yes. what else is there. Um, and, uh, you know, it doesn't mean that when I turned the page, my hands were shaking. Yes, yes. Like news reporter, TV anchor for 23 and a half years. Yes. Um, at 13 Wham News. Yes. And um, for 16 years, I woke up at 2 a.m. and Ooh. brought the news to Rochester. Oh, my gosh. And it was early. Yes. And um, it started to become difficult for me to to be able to sustain my energy throughout the day. Oh. It really became hard. and. You know, um, I have two little girls, yes. and they need me Beautiful in the afternoon. Beautiful little girls, yes. And I needed to be there for him, for them, so I decided to pivot. And literally, yes. like we were joking, I'm like, I was here, now I'm here. <laughs> yes, right? yes, yes. And she do a little. Mm. Yes. Call it she did, try with me. Let's do it. Let's do it. Ready, 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 go. One, two, three. Mm. Yes. That's like, you take it and you go. Mm. That's all. And um, yes. so I did that. Yes. I did that. And yeah, it was, it was a page turning. Yeah, it was a little scary. But. Yeah. What is the fear around making a career pivot? You know, when you do something for a long period of time, yes. you get associated with that in mm. your head. The TV lady. <laughs> yes, hi, TV So the lady. TV lady, you start to think of yourself as, is that that's who you are, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. So <clears throat> you do a career for a long time, you start to associate yourself. And I wondered, mm. would I be able to um, be something else? Mm. Would I be able to extract that I that identity yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> from what I was doing to become something else? Mm. Would I be able to reinvent myself? That's good, that's good. And that was my biggest fear. It wasn't, mm. you know, <clears throat> it wasn't would I make it? It yeah. wasn't like, would I make a living or earn a living? Right, right, You know, right. I thought, am I gonna be able to stop in my head being the TV lady. Mm. Now, what does that mean for 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 me? For yes, me, yes. that meant, um, you know, um, looking the part, mm, you dressing know, the part, dressing the, the part. And in where I work, yes. th there's nobody wearing suits. Right, right. There's nobody, you know, with hairsprayed hair. Shout and out to Digital of Hive. So there was like the physical change, yes, right? I had to yes, start dressing yes. differently, right. which I actually welcomed. And it yes. was like the best change. Um, but then, you know, what I start, what I stop associating myself as being the TV lady. And yes. and actually that was the easiest thing to drop. Wow, really? Yeah. It was like as soon as I drove off the parking lot, I was like, <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> yes. But what really felt good was being able to be my authentic, not that I was not authentic, mm, yes, but, I Dante, you but when you have a role like that, mm -hmm. you feel as if you have to carry yourself. I don't know, maybe I, I don't think there was a big difference from what people saw on TV yeah. versus what they saw in real life, you yeah, know what I mean? We all have to present it sometimes <clears throat> because I'm a little goofy right now, but you catch me at Wagner's on a tired day with my bonnet on, my good, uh, my good, <laughs> 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 That's how I felt, like, you know, 
would I be okay with that? And actually, that was the easiest thing yes. to let go of. Mm-hmm. That was like yes. the first thing that I shed. Mm-hmm. Um, and I joked about, you know, the TV lady has left the building. Like, <laughs> it literally, I did, and she did. Yeah. Um, so that was that was a but that was a, originally like, you know, would I be able to let go? Wow. You know, a lot of people talk about you talked about about the energy part of it, like being drained and mentally and seriously yes. and physically. There are a lot of people who are just suffering on a job, suffering in relationships, suffering in different situations. And what is that 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 reason that thing that they can tap into to like jump and take yeah. that leap? I will tell you this. I said to my sister, um, you know, Andrew, why don't I feel when I made the decision to to actually do this? When mm-hmm. I said I'm going to change my career, I'm going to do something else. Yeah. I, I said to my sister, why don't I feel nervous about mm-hmm. this? Like you would think. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. If yeah. You th- if, sometimes we psych ourselves out of doing things because we think about them oh, too much. Yeah, exactly. But I thought to myself. If I did it, you know, I would feel this way. But why don't I feel nervous? Mm. And she said, because it was time. Right. Ooh, it was time good. to go. Ooh. When it's time, you will know. That's good. And, and when it's time, you just, you go. Mm-hmm. That's it. Yeah. And, you know, it was like, I looked at my life and I said, can I do this another six mm. months? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Mm-mm. Could I do another year, two years, three years? No. Mm. And and I don't mean to say that I was, um, as I love my my former coworkers, yes, yes, yes. and I love my former place of employment. Yes. It was never about them. Yeah, you're right. It's about you. Ooh, it was about good. me. Mm. And for the first time, I put myself and my family first Ooh, for many years. That's good. Right there. Put yourself first. Yourself first. Yes. Yeah. And you know, for years, um, I I gave things up so mm. that I could. Um, you know, be the, 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 I don't know, it's hard to say. Um, my job came first. Yes, I get it. We get it, we get it, Joe. We know how it is. Yes. Eventually, I had to say, no, I, I really, I think I need to start. Ex- I want to know what life is like for, uh, you know, the average person on a daily basis. I want to mm. know what it feels like to get up uh, like everybody right. else That's and go to bed like too. everybody she else. I want to feel it too. Oprah. Yeah, <laughs> you know, Oprah, but she's so rich right now. Oprah, now, some of you can't, Oprah. <laughs> You be letting the universe down. We can't have that. See, people said to me, oh, but I feel so bad. I miss you. I miss you. You started my morning. And I felt badly. I was like, wait a minute, but these are my people and I'm letting them down. But But I'm like, they're not there with me when I got up at two with a headache or, you know, or when the baby would cry and I'd have to go to tend to her. And then crash after a whole day. Yeah. No, four o'clock, I was not even. Yes. So I know over the years you've worked and told a lot of stories and you're sharing your story today, but what was the most liberating story for you to tell? Liberating, like on the job when I was yes. working in television. Yeah. Ooh, liberating. Um, anytime that you are your true, authentic self, mm-hmm. um, and you share something that is, you know, so much a part of you, or you can talk about, you know, we all know the thing we know the best is ourselves. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> to a degree. <laughs> Sometimes. But you know, uh, you know yourself better than most people do. Right. And so right. when you can tell your story, yeah. that's the best story to tell. That is. Um, I think that um, any story where I was able to share a little bit about my life uh, was liberating because you, you could be yourself. Yes. So one of those was um, uh, when um, I'm trying to think of the story. My mom. My mother had a, um, a stroke mm-hmm. in 2013, and she survived. Um, it wasn't the story that I told about her, but it was a story that was sort of related to her. Mm-hmm. Um, and in doing so, I felt it felt very liberating and very freeing yes. to be open with people that, hey, this happened to my yes. family, um, and if it happens to yours, there's a lot of hope, yes. right? Um, but also, uh, another story that was sort of liberating was when um, Father Lawrence Tracy passed away. Mm-hmm. He was a, a longtime pastor in the Hispanic community, mm-hmm. and people, like, revered him. He was so, he was, a, he was one of the people. Yes, yes. And when he passed away, I felt a duty to, to, mm-hmm. to talk to people about his life and what it meant. Um, but also to share that he was personal to me, yes. you know, that so, he had married me, that he had baptized my oh. father, and that he had, you know, buried my grandmother, that he was a part of our yes. family. Um, so yeah, that was a, like a liberating thing because I could share and be myself with people. Right. But I'll be honest with you, there wasn't, there weren't too many opportunities where I, people, too, weren't too many times <laughs> when I wasn't myself. Listen. And that got me in trouble a couple times. <laughs> it's like, okay, Norma, we get it. <laughs> Listen, I used to watch the news in the morning. Sometimes your face expression sometimes will give it away more than. I don't have a broken face. <laughs> you come back. To- I don't have a broken face, okay? 
I will lose money with this face. <laughs> I love it, I love it. I love it. So what do you love most about your new job? Oh my gosh. Tell us what you do first. Oh my God, okay. <laughs> So I work for the Digital Hive. It's a digital marketing company yeah, in Rochester. Yes, hey, we take a brand and yes. a message yes. and we connect it to a targeted user online. That's that the bottom like a, line. That sounds good like a pitch. But that sounds really good. Um, we go out, we help businesses uh, find their, um, their their best client, their best yes. customer online. Oh, yes. Wherever you are online. And let's face it, everyone's, everyone's on their phone. On their, everyone. And so you want to be found there. Yes. That's so we help Aww. clients do that. It's exciting. My job is a director of uh, community development. Yes. I go out to the community and talk to people about what we do. That's um, we like... Uh, we really value partnerships, so we like to go out and partner with other businesses to do good things in the community. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm getting out there talking to people about how can we partner to help out a particular cause, um, because that's important to the company, it's important is. to us. Yes. Um, and then I'm also on the business development side of things, which I love. Because right. I didn't know if I could do that. Look, like, look at you, scary, look at you doing right? it though. You're doing, doing it. it. For that person right now who's watching and they're sitting at home on their in their car, some people listen to us all over the world. I didn't even know they're listening. Hey, hey, they are, yeah, they're scared. They're like, I want to make that jump so bad, but I don't know what my money gonna come from. I don't know what the next meal gonna come from. I don't know what the next step's gonna look like. What if I see after them? Listen, you have to think about it this way. You know, <clears throat> I am not the kind of person, my sister will tell you, I don't jump, I don't leap, I'm not mm. that person. Uh, so it had to be that I was just not in a good place yes. to do that. Yes, yes, uh, yes. To say enough, right? Mm. And you put your, you, you know, you draw the line in the sand and you say no mas. No, no mas. mas right? No, no mas. mas. Come on, we about to leave, bro. No mas. What I decided was, what I would say to you is this. Look at your life. Mm -hmm. And okay, you gotta have some things in place, okay? Yes. You gotta know that you know you're gonna you're gonna be able to make some money, right? Mm -hmm. You gotta know that you have a job. Yes. Um, I'm not suggesting that anyone quit and just say I'm done yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, without a plan, because that's not responsible. Uh -huh. If you've got a family, that's not responsible. Right. But like, think about your life. In five years, are you gonna regret, mm. or are you gonna say thank God I made this choice? Mm, that's good. That's I mean, could what's the worst that could happen? I mean, honestly, look at it. Mm. Always bet on yourself. What's the worst that could happen, Dante? Right. Let's say you, you, you leave the business you were in or the job you were in, the relationship yes. you were in, and you quote unquote fail. Right. All right? Now, you never fail, you always learn. Oh, so, that's good. That's good. Let's that's say good. you get out and you go, oh, this Ooh, she's isn't preaching, y'all. She's I preaching. Did. I did. <laughs> Let's say you get out and you say, this is not for me. Yes. I made a, I made a quote unquote mistake. Yes. What do you do? What did I tell you to do at the yes. beginning of this video? Tell you know what you do? What you do? Pivot. Yay! <laughs> You have That's to good. say you can always start over. That's so good. You can always try again. You can mm. always find yourself. There are people who stay in the same job mm. for decades mm -hmm. or um, same situation, mm -hmm. whether that's relationship, mm -hmm. job, mm -hmm. mindset, things. whatever, mm -hmm. and they never change. And mm. they, I don't ever want to regret. Mm. I never want to look back and say, oh, I wish I could have yeah. <clears throat> tried that or done something different. Right. Do it. And you Do know, honestly, it. like I don't want to wait till I was, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You know, past the age of feeling like I could, because we, as we get older, sometimes we get a little more set in our ways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm still not set, <laughs> so I'm like, no, well, I'm not like set. Pivot, pivot, oil in that thing. You know that's right. You, you get a little pricky. <laughs> yes. Oil that up, grease it up, and then you go. <laughs> yes. Right. And there's always a, sur a surplus of sugar daddies out there if you need to ever fall behind on your bills. Are you, you, know? Are you ready for rapid fire questions? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Favorite book. My favorite book. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> okay. So it's from Ianla Van Zandt. Yeah. Now, I don't know people what they feel about her. I love Ianla. I love her too. Uh, this, I liked her before everyone really knew who she was. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, one day my soul just opened up. Oh, no. <clears throat> Love me that book. I love her. Still have a copy of it. Still read it. Yeah. yeah. Favorite movie. Ooh. Um. Mm. 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 
I was like, I just wearing like the, the scarf, like the color purple. <laughs> I was gonna say the color purple. I quote lines from it, yes. and I always watch it and learn something new. Me too. Uh, that movie so you just do right by me. Everything, everything you even do, everything you do, go. gonna come back to you. Yes. Like that. It's gonna crumble. It's gonna crumble. Yeah. <laughs> everything you do, everything you even think of. Yes. Come. Everything. You know, or Miss Sophia. Um, you know, or that the 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 key the the piano player in the uh, the junk drawer. <laughs> I quote lines from that on the daily. Yes. Um, but no, what I love about that movie is that you know it's about following. Um, Mm. that dream to see your family in, in Celie's yes. case um, but it's about discovery yes. she, she finds herself she finds over herself. and over yes. and over and she becomes she keeps peeling oh. away those layers to become who she really is oh, that's good. you know that's so good and everyone around her does too that's a message I love that oh, wow. message what do you see when you look in the mirror mm. Mm. <laughs> not mm. she <laughs> When I look in the mirror, I see somebody who who um, who is not afraid of change. Yeah, right. I do. I look in the mirror and I see someone who's older, yes. uh, wiser, yes. but someone who said, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna see. I'm still curious. Oh. I think that's what it is. I see someone who's still curious about life yes. and is not. You know, set. Yes. And I want to keep learning. I, oh. I have always loved books, and I think my life will always be a series of open books around me. Oh, you know, that's that I good. want to keep digging in and turn the pages and see what's up. That's so good. And to be audacious means to be. Um, to be yourself. Uh, to be unapologetic. Mm, unapologetic. Okay. Authentically. Uh, yeah, it's funny. <laughs> beautifully. Yeah yourself. Yeah. That's what audacious means. Oh, that's good. Audacious means to me, you dare. Mm. If someone says, how dare you say, mm. I dare. I dare. I dare. No, you've got to. <laughs> yes. You gotta say, I dare. Someone, you know, people might look at you and say, you know, how dare they walk around acting like, yes. like this, like that. You want to know how I dare? Because I do. That part. <laughs> They can find you on Lana, they can support you. I know you're not the TV lady anymore, but they can still find you. <laughs> Come on, on your social media. Yes. Okay, you know, you find me on Twitter yes. um, at Holland, the number two, Norma. You can find me there. Yes. I'm on uh, Facebook under Norma Holland. I kept my um, my professional page, so yes. I still contact and reach out to people on uh, Facebook. Yes. Uh, I'm on Instagram. I'm. Um, yes. You can email me, Norma, at digitalhive, H Y V E dot com. Fun fact yes. people say, is the hive like a beehive? <laughs> like, are there bees? What, what's that all about? You got a honeycomb going on? No. So, <clears throat> the, the founder of the company, his wife is from Finland, oh. and the word hive, H-Y-V-E, is actually pronounced huve. Ooh. Huve means virtue. Oh, that sounds bougie. Yeah. I like, I like, no. I like bougie. I'm like, okay, bougie's good. You want to be bougie, too bougie, you want to be. You know, the, the, a, we are, we're a bougie blend. Yes. We're a bougie blend. Okay. But like, that's what it was, was like, you know, you want it to be virtuous in business, yes. right? You want to say, you know, say what you're going to do, then do it, mm. right? So that's what we strive to do with our clients is say what we're going to do, yes. do what we say we're going to do, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. make good on those, on those promises. I'm calling digital hype the mile, y'all. <laughs> Remember that life is meant to be enjoyed and not just endured. Yeah.